What's crack lacking guys, Twiz here and today I'm gonna be doing a Cinema 4D tutorial on like optical flares and flares itself with the lights in Cinema 4D. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you what we're gonna be doing or learning today. Do load up or not? Yeah, I'll just play that again because that was like really laggy, so yeah, just um, making the flares go along with the name. So what I've done here, you just didn't really want to see this because just making the text on the floor. All we have to do is make a floor, um, drag the text up a bit um, to the flare so it doesn't go through the floor. Uh, if you want to make two texts so you can have two materials, like so, I've just made that. Yeah, and basically I'm just going to make that a bit darker because it seems to be a bit... Yeah, okay, so that. Um, just get, click on a light, um, drag it up, and then back, make it sort of in the middle of the text. A bit more, and a bit more back. So it's just render, and so yeah, it's fine. And then basically, you want to create another light, and uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure you get it on the far end of the text. Well, this is the way I want to do. So wait, I'll just have to drag that out a bit because it seems to be a bit too close to the text. Let's make that there. Is that decent? Okay, now what you want to do is you want to um, make sure that light, the light one that you you've just moved, clicked. Go to the lens down the bottom here. Uh, go to glow and go to artifact. So it looks a little like that. And then go down and then go to the rotation here. Go to change that to 31. And then what you want to do from there, uh, you want to click on settings. Uh, when we go to settings and edit, and this will come up. You want to change the beams the free and the breaks to zero and make the size make that fifty percent and then go to the R down here want to make sure that's uh, zero point fifteen so that in it is that it I think that's it and then you wanna then you go to general and then change colour what you want I'm going to do a blue to go with the text that I've made. But, uh, so that. And if you render that, you can see that the light has changed to a sort of flary colour. Or, well, not really flary colour, like, because I'm more of a flare. But that is a bit too bright, so uh, you want to change the brightness. Uh, where are you? I can't find it now. Well, I'm prepared much. Um, there we go. Yeah. Okay. You just want to change it down to about 70, I would say. Now let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it looks a bit better. And now looking at it that way, uh, let's move the flare a bit out because it really is a bit too close. So let's see what that looks like now. Looks fine. Um, I don't know what's gone with my colours because um, I just wanted that to be a bit dark and the blue bit to be darker. But because it's like the, it's not just doing the colours what I want it to do. I'm just going to leave it. So yeah, you want to make sure that light that you just made your colour. You want to go Control C, Control V to copy that, and you want to drag that to the opposite opposite side and go up like so. So now it's going to look a little sign like this. So two flares on either side. And now what you want to do is you want to make the timeline a bit bigger than 90. Let's say 200. And let's stretch that out. And you want to make sure both uh, lights are uh, 
gray, uh, green, what am I talking about? Orange, and you want to go uh, to do that, you go control and then click on uh, one of them. So now you want to go to the beginning of the timeline and you want to go uh, click the keyframe button down here, the one on the left, and then you want to drag that, uh, let's say, up to 100 and you move these to the opposite side like that and then make another keyframe so now they've been moved there and it seems to be the top ones only moved so I think you have to do it separate so now I'll click on that one make a keyframe at zero oops didn't make that at zero so I have to go back zero click on light one again make a keyframe go to 100 uh, move that along and may also make another keyframe so now as we go back you see that they've moved and as you see now they've moved in so if we go to the middle sort of a bit and render you can see sort of got that nice effect of the flares moving either side and for that bottom one I don't know why but it doesn't look as bright as the one on the top Let's just move that out a bit. I don't know if that's going to affect the keyframe, but let's just see. Mm, yeah. Alright. I uh, hope this tutorial helped. Uh, if it did, uh, remember to like the like this video and also subscribe. Uh, yeah. So spin twiz and bye bye.